thejbeans.net. We sailed on the Holland America New Amsterdam to Alaska in May of 2019. Our friends joined us on the cruise and stayed in a Category SS signature suite on Deck 6 midship on the port side or left side. The room included a balcony and could accommodate three people. According to the Holland America website, the signature suites on Deck 6 are 294 square feet, which is almost 70% bigger than the standard balcony rooms or verandas on the same deck. The added width of the room also provides a larger balcony, which is almost 90% bigger than a standard balcony on deck six. The additional square footage is noticeable throughout the room with significantly more space next to the bed, in front of the bed, and in the bathroom. The room included two single beds that were converted to one queen-size bed and a couch that could be converted into a sofa bed for a third guest. Bedside tables were located on each side of the bed and each included additional drawer space. A phone with a clock display rested on one of the tables. The bed area also included adjustable reading lamps, USB ports on each side for charging electronics, and a good amount of space underneath the bed for storing luggage. The balcony for the signature suite included two padded wicker recliners with matching footrests and a good sized table. Because of the large space available, the chairs and tables did not interfere with opening or closing the door to the cabin. The signature suite bathroom had many upgrades over a standard room, including a double sink, an additional shower, and tiled walls and floor. The double sink area had two large illuminated mirrors, a significant amount of countertop space, a small shelf under the sinks for hand towels and washcloths, and a waste bin. Along with the standard shower tub combo, which included a massaging shower head and a removable non-slip shower mat, the bathroom also had a standalone shower that was separated from the shower tub combo by a glass panel. Also, the tub portion of the shower tub combo featured Whirlpool jets for a massaging bath experience. Elemi shampoo, conditioner, shower gel, lotion, hand soap, shower cap, and bath salts were provided, as were 100% Egyptian cotton towels and a floor mat. The signature suite included a sofa, as well as both a desk area and a vanity. The sofa area featured a two-seat sofa, a coffee table with a basket for the daily delivery of fresh fruit, and an end table that included a lamp, a phone with a clock display, and additional storage. The desk area featured a cushion chair, a desk lamp, a supply of drinking and wine glasses, an ice bucket with ice, a mini bar fridge, drawers for storage, and a nice window to look outside to the balcony and beyond. Complimentary binoculars were included for our cruise to Alaska. The vanity area was located next to the sofa and featured a cushion chair, a large mirror with lights on both sides, a magnifying mirror with light, and six drawers for storage, one of which was used for storing the hairdryer. The signature suite had three closets, two of which could be customized to provide shelving or hanging space for clothes. A safe was located in one of the closets and was easily locked by setting a personal key code. Additionally, standard size adult bathrobes, a basket for the complimentary shoe shine service, and a laundry service bag were also provided in the closets. The laundry service is available for a fee 
and self-service laundry facilities for guests were not available on board. The flat screen TV was located over the sofa and was easily viewable from the desk and the bed. The interactive television included complimentary on-demand movies, television shows, onboard activities information, cruise port information, weather information, and more. Finally, the rooms on the New Amsterdam require you to insert your stateroom key into the wall slot to turn on the room lights. But we found an old gift card worked just as well and allowed us to keep our keys in a wallet.